Hey guys, it's gone Oz, DJ here, and I brought Jeremy. What's good? Bring you another superhero spotlight. We're gonna do DC right now. So let's get right into it. DC EU. What's the news here? Um, I think this was about a week ago we found out, but we're just gonna talk about it anyways. I know how to pronounce his name now. <laughs> Joe Manganello is officially going to play Deathstroke in the standalone Batman film. Nice. How excited are you? I'm super excited, yo. To have him. He was actually a fan cast before. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we talked about this like back when we did the superhero spotlight from last year. Mm -hmm. We're like, he would be really cool. Like when we're listing who we think he should play. Yeah. And look, look at him. They did like that little screen test, which Jeremy informed me was 3D. Yeah, I think they, they CGI'd it. It looks so good though. Yeah. It looked like legit. So that's going to be pretty awesome. But with that being said, what was that game Kenny let us borrow? Which Arkham game was or was it Arkham Origins? City? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. The, the third one? Mm, I don't know. if it's, Yeah. It's yeah, I think before it's, the one that we have, yeah. right? Arkham Knight? Yeah, Origins. That's the one we have on this uh, PC here. There's a fight scene there that people wanted to see. And seeing how Deathstroke looked on that thing, it's going to... Oh, my gosh. I just... It's going to be awesome. But with him being cast, Ryan Potter, I believe his name was. I showed you the video on Instagram. You guys could go check that out. I'm not sure we could link an Instagram video on a YouTube. Was he the guy that's fan cast as Red Tim Drake? Oh, uh, Tim yeah. Drake? I think he's, yeah. Oh, Red, Red Robin. Hood. Red Robin. Uh, is it Red Robin? Red Hood? No, not Red Hood. Tim Drake. Yeah, it's Red Robin. Red Tim, Robin? Yeah, Red Robin. Who is Red Robin? It's it's who Tim Drake becomes after he's a Robin. Like, he stops oh, being Robin okay. after Damien becomes Robin. So does he say yum every Every time he enters red robin yum <laughs> he just sings that that's his that's a sponsor every <laughs> time he comes into a scene but how do you like him he was actually pretty cool on his instagram video yeah the yeah choreo i could see him playing it steven yun was rumored to be in talks to play nightwing how you feel about that rumored and fan cast or just rumored it, i feel like it was a rumor i don't think anyone really fan casted him because you know people they kind of look at the race first yeah and they're like i don't know i mean seeing what they did with the marvel side of things mm -hmm. changing up the the race and stuff yeah i could see steven Young he's definitely got the acting chops nightwing you said yeah nightwing yeah. dick grayson yeah i think i think I could who see says that. dick grayson can't be asian he's a he's bruce wayne's adopted son anyways all these kids are except for damien so go. like why couldn't he be Asian? It would make no, actually, I can't even say it like that because they'll sound racist. But it makes sense, I guess. It's like diversity, mm -hmm. which is an old wooden ship. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty, that's going to be awesome. And I think we still want, if Jensen Ackles is too old to play Red Hood, which he shouldn't be, because I think he's a lot younger than Affleck. Yeah, he would he would have been perfect, actually. Is he younger he, he, than Affleck? Yeah, he's like in his mid-30s. Oh. But he voiced Jason Todd. He could definitely play the part because he's still got, or yeah, in the Batman under the Red Hood. Oh, okay. But yeah, he, he still got the Is physicality. He? Yeah. And the oct oct octing, the acting chops. So oh. he'd be sick. Yeah. Flash, they just casted Henry Allen, who, who was... Is? Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen, Billy Kudrup. So he's still in the realm of DC? Yes, he worked with Jack Snyder before, so I'm pretty sure he's just like... He's probably just going to go through like all the characters he's used already. Because Carla... Guguino, I, I believe that's her name or her last name. Or the lady from Spy Kids, oh, the okay. mom, yeah, the mom, and Watchmen as well. Yeah, she is Kellex, and she's the robot, the voice of the robot. Yeah, hmm. in Man of Steel. Interesting. We're probably gonna see more. Watchmen? What do you call him? Yeah, join the. That'd be sick if the guy that played Rorschach played the question. I mean, yeah, he already got a mask. Basically, for... and they're basically the same people. It's just yeah. Rorschach kills people. Yeah, and I'm not sure if we mentioned that on the other podcast because we talk about a lot of things there the rogues are going to be the bad guys in the flash oh the, the yeah movie. we didn't we didn't mention that okay yeah so the nice. rogues are going to be led by mirror i mean captain cold nice that's and new news to me it would be awesome for them to have all meta powers yeah not like Instead cold guns guns yeah, i think got... in the reboot they have meta powers but then it gets like taken away and then he has to rebuild the gun but that would be really cool and we would love to see captain boomerang because he was the jack courtney yeah he played a perfect captain boomerang yeah and i think that's pretty much it for the dceu side of things we're just really excited for one of them because it's like, like that that's i guess we're gonna mention that like every single time so dctv yes 
some stuff to talk about. So last time we had mentioned on Supergirl, we're going to see Miss Martian season two. Now, we thought this was going to be like the start of like Young Justice E Teen Titans type deal. But this is the thing. The person playing Miss Martian, well, and while she does look very young, is almost 50 years old. Aye. So she might actually be more of a love interest for John, if anything. Yo, Justice. <laughs> Which I don't mind because we got the intro today or yeah. the, the teaser trailer and it looked amazing. You guys need to go check that out. It's on uh, CW, CTV. She looked awesome. Yeah. That they was. Did, uh, somebody said. Yes. Me. They did acknowledge the Kal-El first flight. Yeah. Um, man, I feel old saying that. But yeah, those, Dude, those we should match up the, the scenes. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, don't. Uh, Let's do it right now. We right, yeah, we after have to we do, do this right video. Now. Okay. So you guys will see that on the channel too. <laughs> Oh, dude. Um, I, I don't know. That just came out of nowhere. We could do this. We got to do it quick, though. We'll do it. But Sad. yes, I, we we love that. Jeremy, I'm a small little fan, but I did not even catch that until Jeremy's like, hey, that's dude, like I freaked small out when I, was I like, saw oh, that. I, was just like, I just freaked out because it looked awesome. Yeah. She looked like a badass. I think <laughs> what made me realize that it was similar to Smallville was yeah. when she crouched. She oh, was like, yeah. And then the ground started like crumbling. Mm. That's when I was like, oh, shoot. It's crazy. And it outlined the CW. It was pretty cool. Carlo Hecklin is Prime, uh, Superboy Prime. We're just going to put it, throw it out there. He is the bad guy that brings all these people together. Speaking of that, did you see the photo that John Johns posted? Yeah, he was like arguing with Clark. Yes. You see how so evil maybe, he kind of looks? Maybe he is Superboy. Because Superboy Prime is Kal-El, just from another reality. Yeah. And we don't know if Kara hasn't mentioned Uncle... Shoot, why am I blanking out on the name? Uncle Jonathan Kent. Yeah, Jonathan and Martha Kent. It could very well be Benny and Sally or whatever <laughs> kal parents. I think it's John. No, it's not John. It's something else. I know it's, it's yeah. very different. But we have a theory. You guys can check out that video when it goes up. Yep. At some point. But we did mention it in the last talk. Yep. Uh, a little bit. Metallo, we can finally confirm that he is. I mean, we already kind of confirmed that on our first podcast, I think. Yeah. For this summer. is going to be portrayed by Frederick Smith. And he is going to... It's like he already dealed with Superman and Supergirl. And he's going to be rebuilt. By a shadow organization and then he goes out to get revenge shadow again. spire so he got jacked up by them before yeah just come back for revenge uh, and i think that's pretty much it for supergirl so you guys go ahead and check out supergirl season one on netflix if you guys haven't caught up with it yet and uh hopefully they add flash and arrow before or and maybe i don't know legends is, is it's supposed to go on there I hope, but that would be really cool if they did. I hope. Um, yeah, but go go check it out on there. Leave the five stars. It's it's popular on Netflix now. Oh really? Yeah. I'm gonna add it to my list and five star it. I own it anyways, but uh, <laughs> you know, I'll watch it on Netflix again. <laughs> super diehard fan. Yeah. yeah, super diehard fan of everything. DC. Everything superhero. And yes, there you go. Um, but yeah, check it out. Yeah. Bia. Yeah. Bia. Bia. Oh. The Flash, we can confirm now. Uh, Jeremy did say Edward Claris before. He's like, it might be Edward Claris, and he was totally right. Has it is the rival. Ri yes. It, it, we, we did confirm it was rival. We just didn't confirm it was Edward Claris because you know how they switch names all the time. Yeah. So we can confirm now it's Edward Claris who has ties to Jay. So I guess it makes sense now to say that wally that we're gonna see is the current timeline not mm. the alternate yeah so maybe he was just show maybe those set photos of grant with wally was him showing him how to do the moves yeah because so. he wasn't suited up grant no Austin was not suited. i thought he was like gonna like just pop up out of there and just I mean, like you know actors stop by to yeah. see other actors act yeah and i use the word act like four times in <laughs> one sentence because they could act and act like they act exactly <laughs> but yeah they they like to stop by you know what i mean yeah see how they're doing it's like no 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 dude you gotta like slide in <laughs> yeah do it like this Not on your knees you gotta put your feet jesus wall <laughs> but yeah do you think uh jay garrick will come back yes that Maybe he helps him before Barry comes back to help him. Uh, okay. And then Dr. Alchemy, 
we still think is Tom Felton, along with Savitar, who they haven't casted yet, are yeah. supposedly supposed to be like the psychological warfare in this season. Yeah. So Barry's going to be dealing with some issues on top of issues. Yep. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. And we saw the, the stills of them together, Kid Flash and Flash. That's going to be so sick. The uh, Flash family is building yeah. up. Then we got Jesse Quick because Violet Bean is already just suited up. Did she, yeah, did she show her being suited up? Somebody caught her on a picture, but I did they, not they get to see take, that. Yet. Yeah, they didn't take, I mean, I'm pretty sure it went up and then they took it down, but it's the same people who posted uh, the picture of Wally and Savitar. So I'm pretty uh, sure okay. they're telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun fact Grant Gustin is voicing The Flash and Injustice 2. Nice. Dude, that's crazy. They didn't pick Ezra Miller to pick Grant Gustin. The Grand Gaboo. Gr- 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 <laughs> <laughs> the big dead guy. Well, That's well, crazy. Ezra's gonna be pretty sick though on his own, right? But yes, it I think they they took from that, right? Ezra Miller took the No it's the, the design. The, the design yes. was taken from the but game. They got Grand's voice. Yeah. So that's gonna I be mean, for that's, you. That's yeah. kind of like evening it out. I mean, yeah, being nice to both flashes. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I think it's because of his performance on Vixen. Oh yeah. You know it's weird. I, I watched those episodes and I guess like very quick review. I sure. love the whole thing. the The story of of, of uh, Vixen is very cool. I just wish it was longer than five minutes. I wish it was. Oh, so it's like a mini series. Yes, it's like but super is it, mini series. Is it the length? <laughs> I mean, is each episode like? <laughs> it's like five. The, it's just five minutes long. Are, are there the same amount? Yes, yeah, an arc. There's six five-minute episodes. Oh, that's it. I th- yeah, it's, it's six or yeah, it's, it's very short. So it's basically the length of a regular episode. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a split a, into. It's like a Justice League episode put into okay. a, a whole series. But I wish they were longer. First off. And for some reason, I felt like Grant, uh, out of all the guest stars that have been on there, was the most like fluid with his voice. Because Cisco was like very like mono, and Arrow was monotone. very mono. Like not even monotone, just like it didn't feel like them. You know what I'm saying? Anyone want to go to Deli Burger? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there, but uh, I can't wait to see second season because it's supposed to have Katie Cassidy, Brandon Ruth, and I think White Canary. How do they fit all that in five minutes? I don't know. Honestly, they, they can't. They need they need to be longer, <laughs> in my opinion. At least bump it up to like 10. Yes, that would be perfect. That, that would be if really doing awesome. Like something like a mini series, 10 minutes. But it, it, it is like uh, Young Justice style. That's how it looks. It looks really cool. And then uh, the way they, they made like to check it out now. Grant look and, and all them, yeah. they, they look like you, you remember uh, Justice League War? Yes. The like movie? the newer like movies. Movie, that's yeah. how he looks, but it's a Grant suit. So it's legit. Like, yeah. And it looks like it lo- legit looks like them. Nice. They just immortalize into that style. Nice. I'm sorry. I, I kind of like that's fine. went off on there. But uh, the crossover too between Supergirl and Flash are set to have original songs. Is it just one the musical? Crossover? I feel like they're just going to test the waters. Like, is this going to be good? Like one for each show? Yes. I think it goes so one Monday after Tuesday. the other. Yes. And we think it's either Music Meister or Music Master. Or Pipe Piper. That's not in accordance to the other crossover, right? Probably not. I would rather they okay. have a, I, I would rather they just have like a weird episode where it's like you yeah, know saying like down. it would make sense for like Barry and Kara because like yeah. they're buddy buddy and everybody on those shows can Yeah, sing. I just didn't want it to be part of the main like the big crossover. Oh hell no. Yeah. Music yeah. Meister is just like the big bad guy. Just imagine how <laughs> weird that is. <laughs> Did you see Monday <laughs> Tuesday being a musical and then Wednesday Thursday it's like, oh my god, this world is colliding. <laughs> that would be, uh, man, if that was like the ultimate big bad for this story arc, is just a guy that plays a flute. Dude, if they made the crossover, the, the main crossover, a musical, you just see the Legion of Doom, like making their entrance by doing like a whole musical. Yeah, this dude's like skipping and just like playing a clarinet, and then you got the rest of the Legion of Doom walking in or skipping in. Yeah, and they're all <laughs> singing. I don't know if I would like dislike, because me, I love anything superhero, and I've seen everything. Yeah. And I've seen Batman sing on the Justice League. I don't know. It's just, I'm just going to trust it. Yeah. It's okay if it's like a one off thing. I mean, it's, yeah, it's going to be a fun episode. Yeah. For sure. I if just anything. can't wait to see everybody sing. And he better sing Open Your Eyes. And I know that's not his song, but Cisco better sing that. Yeah, Cisco should. And a quick thing, quick thought here. It's it's very short. That's why I didn't want to uh, make another video about it. But it'd be very interesting to see Cisco as his vibe persona on the alternate earth while he plays the 
billionaire philanthropist. Mm. Yeah. Like so, like they do like a whole Batman thing. Like he acts like a prick in real life, but then he's actually saving people That'd at nighttime cool. as vibe. That would be cool. And I think that's it. But well, I'm really excited because all these shows are setting up, and they're gonna be here in less than thirty days. Oh shoot! Yeah. October fourth is the premiere of Flash. October fifth is Arrow. October tenth is Supergirl. Uh, Supergirl, and the thirteenth is Legend. Yes. Okay. So Flash and Arrow are gonna start it off. Yes. And then the other shows. Okay. I think in order. It goes and there's for no me. no other news. Oh no, I'm, I'm about to go down. Oh, okay. I'm most excited for Flash, then Supergirl, then Legends in there. I'm sorry, it's just, that's just honestly my opinion. <laughs> what about you? Like in your, in your, they should put the TV shows on those nights in yeah. that order, like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, they Flash, that. Supergirl, Legends and Arrow. They should do that. I feel I like, like that's that. how it should. I mean, because Arrow tries very hard. I'm not saying like the character itself. I'm saying like the writers try so hard to make it its own thing. Yeah. When it's already a shared universe if you didn't want it to be the same thing you might as well just had him on the separate earth yeah and then just have him deal with the thing and then every so often barry crossed over it would have fit perfectly with everybody else yeah because every time something happens it's always almost barry yeah that melds everybody together yeah right so i mean you just that's, caught that, a predicament that's a something you guys could look at maybe this is your way to reintroduce everybody maybe oh, unkill yes. certain characters and kill other ones yeah and getting into arrow we have a character named ishmael uh, who's supposed to show up and he's like a russian so he's supposed to have like some sort of interest in oliver and a love interest i can't quit you ishmael ishmael <laughs> and Diggle's got a new helmet and it looks cooler. Nice. So they actually did not overlook that. And I'm thankful because we really wanted him to bust that out and then help Oliver kick Damien's ass. But yeah. they wasted it. Yes, kind of. I mean, the ending fight was still pretty good, but you know, so many ways we could have seen that going. Legends of Tomorrow. The only thing I can say is that Jonah Hex is officially going to return. Sweet. And I'm pretty sure that guy follows Jeremy on Instagram. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did before I uh, my other account got closed down. Oh. <laughs> that's so sucky yeah like he followed me and then that happened Sucks. give it back man okay. famous person followed him but yeah he's okay. gonna return so that, i guess they're gonna go back to the west again maybe somebody is time hopping Ooh, oh who's that guy in justice league oh maybe that's who ties everybody in Ooh. maybe Ooh. chronos oh wait no chronos is freaking god dang it yeah. no he's already taken yes damn it oh well rory God dang it. Oh, my. Or oh, somebody like similar to Kronos from the, the, the Justice League animated. Yeah. He, he was like a guy that jumped everywhere and he was just messing everything up, basically. Mm. And the crossovers for everything have officially been written. Now it's all down to producing them. Yes. So that's exciting. They actually got it done. And we will probably see a teaser like midway through the season, I guess, for the crossover. Because I feel like this crossover is going to either happen in December or in January when everything comes back. I feel like it's going to be here before they come back. But I feel like it's going to like be unresolved. Like it's going to be like if it does happen this year, they're going to have to be dealing with it for the rest of the season. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. But please, 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 please don't make Supergirl separate. And if, if it is still in a separate universe, like let Barry have his own little gateway to there. Legion oh, C Cisco. Legion <laughs> Cisco could just go. But <laughs> also the Legion ring. That'd be sick if they met the Legion. I was watching an episode. Of, Isn't uh, mon Unlimited. part of the Legion? I no. think so. I think he has ties to the Legion. Uh, okay. Never mind. But yeah, in Justice League Unlimited, Kara actually stays with the Legion and she falls in love with Brainiac 5. Oh, okay. Sick. And I think that's pretty much it for DC in general. I think that's all the info that we have. So if you guys could go leave your comments down below on what you guys thought, what we said. And if you guys have theories of what's to come, uh, if you guys are excited that we're going to be bringing the reviews back in very little time, yeah. it's going to come up on us very quickly. And leave a like down below as well if you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Did I say everything? Oh, this is it. Round us off, Johnny. Oh, who's round us Johnny? off, Jimmy. Who, who's, who's Johnny? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> round it off, Jimmy. I'm just kidding. And for those of you who are new, uh. <laughs> oh, you said a bad word. You gotta take that out now. For those of you who are new to the channel that have subscribed for like gameplays and stuff, those will still be around. I'm trying to see if we could, you know fit those in with the schedule it's very hard to balance yeah trying to see 
We'll see. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.